All right, so today's video, we're going to take a look at the Blackmagic HyperDeck. Uh, let's see, this is the, what is this, HyperDeck Studio Mini. So the problem that we're having is if we hit record, it's recording, it's got a good SD card in it, we're rolling. If you do a format change in the middle of a recording, so for example, we had a camera that was intermittent, and for whatever reason, it would change the format down the line, I guess, but everything's going through the Blackmagic switcher. So, mini recorder, what I'm gonna do just to test this, we're gonna go from 1080p to 1080i. So we do the format change, and we can see here that it's gonna switch. Uh, there we go. So it's gonna say no signal, and then it's gonna come back and it's gonna stop by itself. So now we're at 60i. Now. I mean, it would make sense to stop recording or maybe give an error saying that the, there's a problem with the input, but you really don't want it to stop recording. I mean, that doesn't make any sense to have it stop recording. Um, so anyway, so what we're having to do now is we're actually going through a decimator and we're changing it so that it's going to be making sure that the scaling never changes. So there, we're going through the scaler now. So we're at 1080. 1080i uh, 5994, we're going to hit record, and we're going to do a format change here. We're going to change to 1080p. We're at 1080p out of the computer, and we're going to go back to 1080i out of the computer. And we come back, and we're still recording. So the problem was is that we had a camera that was intermittent, uh, or there was a cabling issue, and for whatever reason, Black Magic, when it when the camera uh, glitched out and came back again because of the bad cable, it actually passed along a format change to the recorder and stopped our program record coming out of the recorder. So hopefully this can be fixed in a firmware update or something like that because that's really unacceptable to have the the recorder stop recording. If there's a format change, it would be okay to have an error. It would be okay to even record a blank screen uh, temporarily. And I and we do know that if you disconnect the the SDI input, if you get a no signal, it'll still continue to record if you have that issue. And then I'm going to re reconnect, and we're still recording. Now, for example, a Aja Key Pro. And I tested this last night. If you send a signal to an Aja Key Pro, if you do a format change in the middle of a recording, it will just say no signal on the recording, but it'll continue to record until the signal is restored to the correct format. So hopefully this was helpful. If you're trying to use one of these recorders and you have the recorder stop working for whatever reason or stop recording, uh, it's more than likely not your SD card. It's more than likely that something happened with your format coming in. Thanks for watching.